Speaking of getting in somebody else's shoes, one thing that we did to promote this was we did a whole recital based on shoes. All the dances were about shoes and to that end we did some donations of shoes throughout the year. We collected used soccer shoes which I have delivered to a tent city in Haiti. We took our competitive team on a cruise to the Bahamas and as part of that trip they donated, donated 72 pair of brand new shoes to an orphanage. They got to spend the day there interacting with the kids, dancing with the kids, eating lunch with the kids, seeing what it would be like for somebody who's receiving that pair of shoes living in an orphanage in a second world country. Uh, we also took shoes, brand new shoes, to Franklin Elementary School here in La Crosse and the kids went shopping for the shoes, they personally delivered the shoes and got to see the joy on a child's face as they open a brand new pair of shoes, maybe for the first time. So creating real world opportunities for kids to get in other people's shoes, in this case it was through shoes, creates a, a, a great life lesson for kids. And not only for kids, but our audience. When we did that show that year, we had over 5,000 people come to the show. And we were able to stand on the stage and say, if you woke up with more than one pair of shoes today, you're richer than 90% of the people in the world. And it just really creates a responsibility in kids uh, to give and to use their gift as a blessing.